That is my view this morning. What's going on YouTube? In my hotel right now. I'm about to go meet up with a fishing guy named James today. And we're going to a new place. Hopefully we're going to catch some white bass, maybe even a carp, some smallies. It's going to be fun. Just laced up the Fluke Master 2.0s. How's it going, man? Good. I'm Andrew. I'm James. Nice to meet you. We uh, just made it to the river. You guys can see this. Look at this boat ramp we're about to go down. It's not even a boat ramp. That's just like a, a hill, a, a mountain, something. Sweet though. Now we're in the boat. So what you're going to want to do, we're going to do something that's just called swinging the fly. And so you're going to take it, and you're just going to cast it in there at about a 45 degree angle downstream. There's one. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh, he's super tiny. Oh, wow. I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> That's the smallest one of the year. Yeah, well, all right. Oh. Teeny guy. And I thought I'd never be able to do it with a fly rod. Then like a year into it, all of a sudden it was like, same. I could make the same shots. Like, this is sick. There's one. There you go. There's one. Bigger strip. There you go. Yeah, keep that rod loaded just like that. He might almost be in. He's moderately net worthy. We'll put him in. Woo! That's uh, a lot better than the first one. Yeah. <laughs> first decent sized smallmouth of the day. It's a good fish. And I'm gonna rig this thing up. And on our way down, I'm just gonna creep us down super slow and have you uh, rigged up for any opportunity at some passing carp. There's a carp. Swimming away. He's, no, he's tucked back up in there. Ooh, there goes another one. All right, so what we might do is anchor up the boat, there goes a third one, and walk down this together. <laughs> Ooh, it's a cold one. <laughs> it's cold at first, then it feels surprisingly good. Ooh, all right. There's one. I see one. Okay. Big shot on him. You want to land it about a foot in front of his head. I can't see him, so it's on you right One hour later. Two hours later. Underneath the very corner of the bridge, there's a spot where a lot of times they're going to be sitting and eating right off the surface. Set. So that one looked like it ate it. Yeah, it did. I don't know if it did that. So what they'll do a lot is they'll, they'll just sit there and do laps in the pool. Okay. So if we wait long enough, I see one, but there's yeah. right under that log, you can see his fin. You see this one coming in on the log? And that's 
Yeah, yeah. If you can get a good shot, like if you can just pendulum that thing to him. Okay. Oh yeah, I see him. Two hours later. Yeah. So you want to just do that little pendulum thing. And you want to go right in front of his face. Going right down to him, see? Oh my, it's so cool. Yeah, let that line keep sliding now. Okay. Cut. Got a carp on here. Come on, girly. Still half asleep, I think. All right, we just netted the uh, the carp. Big old girl. And she was sleeping. Yep, right there, just like that. And then scoop your next one up underneath her peck fins. There you go, and kind of bend her out towards the camera a little bit. There you go. I can. Heavy girl, huh? Yep. Tight. Very good. Tight. You good? Go, man. All right, we're gonna let this <laughs> let this girl go. There she goes. Come on. Heck yeah. Big fish. Meet you. Yeah, it was fun to meet you. All right, guys. So we got off the water. We're at the hotel. I'm with James from Schultz Outfitters. If you guys are interested in catching giant carp like I did or smallmouth bass in Ypsilanti, Michigan, mm -hmm. did I say that right? Yep. It's SchultzOutfitters.com and check us out on Facebook. That's the best way to see what's up to date and going on. That's it. What's going on guys? I'm ending the video today. I had an awesome time fly fishing. It was my third day fly fishing here in Ypsilanti, Michigan. I was taken out by Schultz Outfitters as you guys saw in that last clip. But I overall had a great experience first time fly fishing. It's really not as hard as it looks as long as you have a good guide uh, that will teach you, you know, the, the proper ways of fly fishing, all that good stuff. So if you guys are interested in fly fishing, I would definitely recommend getting a guide. If you're up near Michigan, the Ypsilanti area, definitely check out Schultz. Some really awesome dudes. And I'm sorry that this video only had like one solid fish catch. Uh, I really hope for more and we caught that fish in like the last five minutes of our fishing day uh, We waited that river for about seven hours saw lots of carp lots of opportunities lots of missed opportunities The carp were definitely playing tough to get but again, this is a this is a lesson I always preach You know, you got to be patient. You got to be persistent. You got to have confidence. It's one big thing It's not cockiness. It's confidence. You got to have confidence be confident in yourself, in your gear, all that good stuff. Patience will pay off. So I'm going to end the video. If you guys like fly fishing, leave a thumbs up. If you don't like it, leave a thumbs up and leave a comment saying you don't like it. If you guys like it, I'll be sure to uh, hop on a few more of these fun press tour trips and give you guys all the footage you guys want. Overall, hope you guys had a good time watching the videos. That's it for today's episode, guys. Thanks for watching.